Colossians chapter 3 verse 16. Bible says that let the word of Christ dwell in your heart richly. Hallelujah. Amen. Then he says that admonishing one another. When you admonish one another, you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Yeah. One, one of the, let me say, the little um, mistake we do when we come to worship service together like this is that we are just here to lead you to sing. We don't do the singing. Mm. Because in the New Testament, singing is not segregated to only certain people. Yes. In the New Testament, we all do the singing. Yes. So when we come together as a family, as a church, we are the church of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yes. And so when we come together, we don't even let, we don't even allow ourselves to, you know, sing. We let the music and everything overshadow. And then we stand there and look at us do the, all right, the singing. But that's not how it's supposed to be. Because you are supposed to recognize what the Lord has done in your life. And then you are able to bring out a song from your own heart. Yes. To God as your appreciation and your gratitude to him for all the things he has done. Hallelujah. So the encounter we are looking for. How are you going to even encounter him? The encounter is going to be based on the revelation you have about him. Yeah. How much you know Jesus will determine how much you can encounter him. As we come here right now, any song we are singing is very powerful. Mm. But you see, it cannot be a blessing to you because you don't have understanding and revelation. Mm. That is why you can still be singing the song. I work with God the Father. I work with God the Son. I work with the, God the Holy Spirit. I get back in. And you still can be pressing your phone because <laughs> you don't understand what you are singing. Yeah. You are just... And you still can be... You, you, are, you don't. But the moment you understand, Apostle Paul said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. When you know this Jesus, when you know the man we are talking about, when we come together, you know, Jesus cannot appear here in his glory physically. And so we can, you know, casualize the things we do. But imagine the man, Jesus Christ, even when he sent an angel to appear to people, the Bible says that John the Revelator, he, he lied prostrate like he was dead. That was an angel. Now look at the one who created the whole universe. If he appears here right now, who will be able to behold his glory? Nobody. But we come into his presence. And you know, there is so casualness. There's so much casualness. People of God, we live in the end times. Second Timothy chapter 3. Apostle Paul told Timothy that in the last days, perilous times shall come. All right? And so there are so many things that are happening in the body of Christ. You know, go for, we always go for worship meetings and all of that. But we go and come back the same, just jump in and shout. But you know, the disciples, after they encountered Jesus Christ, hey. they were not singing with musical instruments. Hey. But in the prison, when they sang, the Bible says that the prison began to say, what are we singing? And it's like, we sing and still continue the problem. The problem still continue. Everything we are going through is still continuing. But just one song. You are not just singing it because it's a song you know. But when you remember how God protected you, yeah. I mean, you, I mean, you, you wouldn't have been alive. Like you, you shouldn't be alive. Oh. It is not because you know how to drive. It's not because you, you, they pay you good. But you know, you recognize that some night, some, some, some one or three, some hundred. The Bible says that it is He who has made you. We have to understand that somebody made us. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Remember your creator in the days of your youth. And then he said that, know that it is he who has made you. God made us. Somebody made us. When we come together, let us understand that somebody made us. We didn't make ourselves. If you are, if you are handsome, 
if you are beautiful, you didn't make yourself. Mm. Somebody put some clay together and then he breathed the breath, he breathed into your nostrils and you became a living being. This God, when we come before him, we give him our utmost praise. Even before the song, your heart is bubbling, your heart is agitating to give him something for all the things he has done. You have a voice, raise it and sing to your master. Yeah. If it had not been for the Lord, I could take it back not been for the Lord, if it had not been for the Lord, if it had not been for the Lord, sing your way, Muradia, oh, come in, oh, sing your way, Muradia, apara, oh, come, Jesus Christ, oh, my daddy, kuni mama, yeng, you can lift your two words. Oh, 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 oh,